I talk about this all the time. I could talk about it until I'm blue in the face and I st it still probably won't get done to my satisfaction, but I think clear expectations is your first step. So, so when I mean by clear expectations, if we're talking about leading a team, it's really important that everyone sits down and talks, has a healthy conversation about roles and responsibilities and who's going to do what. That's really important. And, and because any high performing team, has got that where you know what you're supposed to do and you stay with, to a certain degree, you stay within your lanes. Okay. Do you seem okay with that one? Yeah. What's, what's your hesitation? Well, what if people don't do their job, Brandon? Then I have to get in their lane. Yeah, that's exactly right. But if you set the I clear mean, expectations... other team members have to get in their lane, not me. I, well, I, you're right. If you, That's why setting the clear expectations is really important because mm -hmm. it's going to... Further down the road, we're going to talk about what do you do when they get out of their lane. Okay. But you can't redirect them if you haven't first established that first. Okay. And I said I first twice. That. I said first twice, but actually, I'm glad I did because it really is the most important thing. You I have accept to, that. You have to say that first. Okay. So what's everyone's job? Important first kind of step in this though, is what normally happens when teams are formed is because of the fact that time's our most precious resource and everything's urgent all the time, teams form and, they, and quickly someone on the team says, well, we just, we don't have time for this. We just got to get started. And they just start doing stuff. Yeah. Really bad idea. Because inevitably you're just setting up dysfunction. That call it, well, that causes more time in the end too, right? Like if you, it's kind of one of those things, invest up front the time yep. to clarify roles and that helps you in the long yep. run. It feels super inefficient because mm -hmm. you're like, the clock is ticking. We don't have time to sit down and talk about what are our goals and who's going to do what and how we're going to work with each other. But if you don't do that, inevitably someone's going to step on someone else's toes, throw an elbow, bloody someone else's nose. Yeah. That's just what happens. So invest that time up front to really talk about roles, expectations, how you're going to work together really makes a difference. High performing teams do that really well. They invest that little time up front to kind of get that. 